Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel and Facebook page, Crochet a Graph. And remember, if you like my videos, please subscribe. Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how I took this photo of Star Wars and turned it into this photo of Star Wars and then into this photo of Star Wars as a finished written pattern and crochet graph. How I did it was I took this original image of Star Wars and cropped it and manipulated it in photo editing software. And my finished image became this. After bringing it in to preview, you go up to tools, adjust size, choose how large your image is going to be. My finished piece is 160 pixels by 160 pixels, 4 pixels per inch. These are the settings. You hit OK. Here's the project that I created for Star Wars. It is the final piece. When I'm ready to create the written pattern, I go up to Import Export Tunisian Crochet. I choose Remove Rows, Do Nothing. I choose Do Nothing. We work right to left because you're, if you're right, if you're right-handed, you work right to left. If you're left-handed, you work left to right. So it'll be right to left. It's not alternating. It's just right to left. It'll be the thread name, and that is why I renamed all of the thread in the palette to the yarn names, so that they are shorter in my written pattern. I'm going to work from top to bottom, and here this is creating a text document that here is the written pattern now, line by line, 160 lines, 160 stitches. In addition to exporting the written pattern, you can export it as a stitched view. You want to also export a thumbnail PNG. In your folder, you should have your project, your image, your high resolution image, your written PDF pattern, your original image, a stitches view that is generated from MacStitch, as well as your thread palette. And that is it.